Hi guys, this video I'll be talking about the layer 3 Ether channel and how to configure it using um, different negotiation protocol. So first of all, between switch 1 and 2, I'll configure without using any protocol, negotiation protocol. Between switch 1 and 3, I'll use the Cisco's proprietary, the port aggregation protocol. And between switch 2 and 3, I'll use the industry standard, which is the link aggregation control protocol. And I use different subnets between for each link. And uh, for this tutorial, I'm using a different uh, different application, different software. This one is uh, Web IOU, iOS on Unix, which is uh, like a previous version of Eve. Eve is a new one. You can practice multi-vendor um, devices on it uh, as a simulate multi-vendor stuff. This one is ideal for the uh, for the routing and switching. Um, so it's uh, it's a bit lighter. On the system than Eve, Eve is behavior, but you can practice Juniper firewalls and other simulate uh, simulate other devices as well. So let's just start with the uh, with the link between switch one and two first. Starting with switch one. Right. So we have Ethernet 0001 connected to switch two. Right, so with the layer 3 inter, uh, Ether channel, we'll be configuring the, uh, the logical interface prior to the physical interface. So we'll start off with configuring the port channel. And we'll use the same port channel that I used for uh, the layer 2 Ether channel. And we specify no switch port so that uh, we can use it as a layer 3 interface. So for switch 1, I'll use IP address 192.168.1.1 and the subnet will be slash 30. And now let's configure the physical interfaces. Right guys, so for layer three, for layer three, the channel is very important to to specify the no switch port command before before uh, issuing the command, the channel group command, because the default ether channel is layer two. So uh, when you're configuring layer three, the channel, unless you specify the no switch port before cha the channel group command, the switch will configure it as a layer two ether channel, and then you won't be able to change it afterwards. So we issue the no switch port command first and then the channel group command. And the mode is on since we're not using any negotiation protocol. So just to check the configuration, well, the IP address is configured and The ether channel is up. We're not using any negotiation protocol. Are you in the case that's layer three and the ether channel is up? And we we bundle Ethernet 0, 0, 0, 001 in this ether channel, and we're using the port channel number 12. So let's move on to switch two. So like I said, very important to configure the, the logical interface before configuring the physical interface. So we start with the port channel configuration. No switch port just to specify that's a layer 3 interface and not layer 2. And then we can issue the IP address command. So on switch 2, I'll use 192.168.1.2 and slash 30 subnet again. And now the physical interfaces. No switch ports. And then the channel group command.
but the port is up as well so we should be able to ping uh, switch one And from switch one, we should be able to ping switch two as well. Right, this indicates that we do have connectivity over layer three. So now we can proceed to the link between layer switch one and switch three. So on this one, like I said earlier, we'll be using the Cisco's proprietary, which is the uh, port aggregation protocol. So we'll start again with switch one. So let's configure the logical interface first. So interface port channel. We we'll use the port number 13. So no switch ports. And IP address. So for this interface, I'll use the IP address 192.168.1.5. Slash 32 slash 37 net again. And now let's configure the physical interfaces. Port channel will be one three. And um, same, exactly same as uh, layer two. In the uh, port aggregation protocol, we have auto and desirable. So switch one, we want switch one to initiate the negotiation. So we'll use desirable on uh, switch one. So let's just double check the configuration. Right, we have the IP address configured on the port channel. So at the moment we can see that the, the port, the ether channel is down. We have configured the protocol as port aggregation protocol. And we have Ethernet 02 and 03 interfaces configured, uh, bundled in it, but they are suspended at the moment. So they haven't uh, successfully formed the port channel as yet. So let's move on to switch three. IP address I'll use on switch three six. Right, moving on to the uh, physical interface. No switch ports. So we don't want switch three to initiate the negotiation. So we want switch three to be the passive uh, switch in case of the negotiation. So we'll use the auto command here. Let's just double check the configuration. We have IP address configured on the port channel. And right, still shine is down. Let's have a look on switch two, switch one.
right, we can see that the now the Ether channel is up using the port aggregation uh, protocol and uh, Ethernet 02 and 03, the two interfaces bundled in this port channel. And we should see on switch 3 as well that the port channel should be up. Are you indicates that the layer 3 channel is up? using port aggregation protocol as a protocol and the two interfaces bundled in it. So we should be able to ping the IP address for the switch one for channel 13 as well. Let's try that. And same thing, we should be able to ping from here as well, switch one. Right, so we do have connectivity between switch one and two, and now we've established connectivity between switch one and three. So now let's move on to the link between switch two and three. Here we're gonna use the industry standard, which is the link aggregation uh, control protocol. So we'll start with switch two which will initiate the negotiation and switch 3 will be the passive uh, passive one so starting with switch 2 So we've used the IP address 192.168.1.9 on uh, switch 2 for this link and again slash 30 subnet Right, for the link aggregation control protocol, we have active and passive. Active being the active negotiation, uh, doing the active negotiation, and passive will be the passive one. So, as we want switch two to initiate the negotiation, we'll, uh, we'll configure it as active. Let's just double check our configuration. So the IP address is configured. And the port channel is down at the moment as we haven't configured the uh, Switch 3 as yet. So let's do that now. Well, the IP address I'm configuring on switch 3 is And we use the passive command on switch 3. Cool, all right, let's check, check what we've done. Configure the IP address. Let's have a look at the 
show you the channel summary. At the moment, the poll channel is shown as down. The link aggregation control protocol we've used and the ports Ethernet 02 and 03. Let's have a look first on switch 2. Right, the port channel is up. Link aggreg aggregation control protocol is a protocol and we have the two ports bundled in the Ether channel. So the Ether channel should be up on. Right, just to see on switch 3, the Ether channel is up, link aggregation control protocol and uh, the two ports bundled in the Ether channel are Ethernet 02 and 03. We should be able to ping the IP address, so let's test that. One dot nine is the IP address configured on switch 2. And we should be able to ping from switch 2, switch 3's IP address. Cool, we have uh, connectivity between the two switches. So, um, just a quick recap, guys, of what we did. Uh, we just configured a layer 3 to channel between the three switches. Uh, we didn't use any uh, negotiation protocol between switch 1 and 2. Between switch 1 and 3, I used the uh, Cisco's proprietary, which is the port aggregation protocol. And between switch 2 and 3, I used the industry standard, which is the link aggregation control protocol. So uh, with the Ether channel, just a couple of things to keep in mind. You want to configure the uh, logical interface first before configuring the physical interface. So i.e. you'll configure the port channel before configuring the, uh, the actual in, uh, physical interfaces and uh, when you're configuring the physical interfaces it's important to issue the no switch port command before configuring the channel group command because otherwise the, uh, the the switch will create a layer 2 either channel as opposed to layer 3 the channel that we want in this case so uh, that's pretty much it guys any questions comments post them below and i'll answer as many as i can thanks bye